Hello people! This is Mac Fisher back with another exciting Mac tutorial for you guys today. As always, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to clear up space on your hard drive. So first, let's just do a quick check on our hard drive. Finder itself in the window will tell you how much free space you have left, but right-clicking on the hard drive icon on your desktop or selecting the icon and doing command I will launch the properties window. And from there, you can see your used space too. Now, the next step to cleaning your hard drive is understanding what is taking up space on your Mac. And the best way to do this without having to install a third party app is disk utility. Disk utility has many uses, but today its use is showing us exactly how much space is being taken up by what. And this gives us a good starting point for finding places where we might be able to delete some files and clear up some space initially. So let's start with our apps. There's a lot of application deleting tools for Mac, but my favorite is App Cleaner. I've been using App Cleaner for years and it's wicked easy to use. Just drag and drop the application you want to delete and it finds all the other related files for that app too, like cache files or crash report files, and then deletes them too. So in my mind, this is the closest thing to sort of, you know, removing something from programs and features like you could on Windows. But the best thing about this app is that it's free, so make sure to check the description below for a link to this application. Now, for our movies and photos, the best course of action is just to check each of those folders and see what's inside. So, starting with movies, it looks like most of the space is actually being taken up by actual movies. I'll admit I sort of uh, stacked my deck here a little bit. I have a few on here, so I could definitely delete those. Plus, I have some Final Cut projects I could probably delete and shrink that down a bit too. And if we hop over to our photos, the biggest hog space will usually be duplicate photos from different libraries. And that could likely be the case here, as I have an 18 gig iPhoto library and then an eight gig photos library. So I could probably review my photos and delete the ones I don't need anymore and definitely curb up some space that way. Also make sure to go through your other folders too, especially your downloads. I often forget to delete those, so that's a folder where things can pile up quickly and take up a lot of space. But once you've finished going through those sort of top level folders, we're going to jump into some more secretive hidden folders. So in Finder, click on Go, then go to Folder, and in the Folder path, type tilde forward slash library. Then we want to find the caches folder and everything inside here is stuff that we can delete. Let's see how big this folder is. A gig. So we can definitely delete this and get some space back here. Now going back to the library folder, this time we're going to go into application support, mobile sync, and then backups. And this is where all of your iOS backups from your iPhone or iPad or iWatch are. And this folder is 34 gigs. Wow. So again, I can definitely clear out a lot of this folder too. I'd probably delete this entire folder and then just do a backup of my devices immediately since you only ever really need the most recent backup. And then obviously remember to empty your trash after you've moved those files there because otherwise they're still taking up space. And those are just a handful of ways to clear up space in your hard drive. If you've gone through all of these folders and you've cleared out everything and you still aren't able to clear up space on your hard drive, definitely leave me a comment down below and I'll try to suggest some other folders that you could check. But that is going to wrap up the tutorial that I have for you guys today. If you guys get stuck on any step or have any questions, feel free to drop me a line down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.